Welcome to Flippin' Rejects with me, Shane. This week, I'm taking this plywood offcut that I got from a previous video where I turned an interior door into a coffee table. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link to it in the description. I'm taking this plywood offcut, I'm going to power carve it into a wall hanging art piece with a resin river in the middle. Let's get started. To start off, I just rough sketched out a design of a river down the center of this piece of plywood and I'll come back and route it out with a trim router. After I finished up with this quarter inch bit just doing the outline, I came back with a half inch bit just to clear out the center of this river. I then used a hand torch to burn out the center of this river, just in case the resin itself was transparent. I didn't want you to see the bottom of this plywood. And here I'm just using a two-part epoxy to seal up the edges of this plywood so the resin that I'm pouring later won't seep in and you'll see color in the plywood itself. While I let this resin dry, I could get started on cutting the metal that was going to be the frame. With all the metal cut, now I can start welding it together. After welding it all together, grinding it all down, I was ready to paint. Here I'm just using a self-etching primer, which works really well on bare metal.
after letting this dry, it was time for several coats of top coat. While I'm painting this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also like this video and leave comments. After waiting several days for the resin to cure, it's time to cut it down to its final size and start power carving. Here I'm using an angle grinder and a wood carving wheel, just carving out a random pattern. Once I was done carving out a design I was happy with, I started the long process of sanding. I sanded all the way up from 60 to 320 grit. After what seemed like hours and hours worth of sanding, it's time for finish. Here I'm just using a dark oil just to bring out all the layers in the plywood itself and give it that extra pop. After that dried, I took it outside once again just to spray it down with a clear coat with a satin finish. Now it's time to put it all together in final assembly and this project's done.
Yeah, no, I mean, this is, this is great. Here, uh, getting to see some of your work friends, like this one. I mean, that's just it's pretty incredible. That one's moving. I really like that. Oh, hey, uh, just walking through this art gallery with this piece of wall art you guys just watched me build. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button. If you really like it, hit that bell, and you'll get a notification email every time I take another object and flip it into something awesome. So you all go out and have a great day, and go make something awesome. Well, I guess you got to get back to work. Your break's over. See you at the house.